Community ecotourism project in Kambod hopes to welcome more local and international visitors as the income livelihoods are depend on continues to decline despite Cambodia reopening to tourists almost a year ago. បើសាកូវីដ៏ប៉ុន្តែយើងបើថ្មីថ្មីនេះក៏យើងក៏អត់ទាន់ <coughs> The Trapansangka community was created on July 10, 2009 and was registered with the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries in 2011. It is located in Trapansangka commune, Dukchu district, Kumbot province. The village started life as a fishing community. When residents started planting mangrove trees for conservation, it sparked the idea to create an ecotourism initiative. ສໍາລັບສາກົມນິສາດເຕສຈໍຕໍ່ພ້ອມສະກາຍນີ້ເຈີງບານບັງເກີດໃນ <coughs> <coughs> ไอ้มูเตียดยิงจองเอ่อไทยรสาไทยรสาอ่าทุนเทียนอวัยได้ <coughs> The Peng Sengkai fishing community has a total population of 758 people. There are 473 Cambodians and 285 Cambodian Muslims, according to a 2017 detailed document of the Pyongyangka fishing community. Prior to the pandemic, the project earned between $2,800 and $3,100 a month. <coughs> In Maria, a cook at Trabelsenkai Community Ecotourism for more than 10 years, Pokery posted that during the COVID-19 crisis, some cooks stopped working there and went to work in the government sector instead. ចាប់ថាអត់ទៀងមកមកថាអូមានភ្ញៀវយើងអាច <coughs> Food costs depend on what customer order, as the community sources food depending on the number of guests staying. On average, prices range from $4 to $7 per person, based on the customer choice. Oksoguri, currently a boat driver at Drapeng Sengkai, Toguri posts that his job is to drive boats for tourists who want to plant the mangrove trees or explore the rural surroundings. ការពីមុនន័យថ្ងៃបុនទៀនអីអាច
He added that before COVID-19, he transported about 8 to 9 tourists a day, earning about $30 up to $34. Now, this income has almost dried out and some days he earned nothing because there are no tourists. Thank you.